G'day, I'm Ewan McCash. My name's Kevin McCash from Oyster Life Farm, located on the Clyde River Batemans Bay, New South Wales. On our farm, we're farming Sydney rock oysters, as well as Pacific oysters, and we supply wholesale seafood processors in Sydney, as well as online sales and direct restaurant sales. Oyster Life Farm is not a traditional farming structure, it's actually a share farm, and that's how we've been able to scale up operations significantly. We started off, it was Ewan and I working together to develop the farm. There's a lot of work to do early. The farming environment was a lot more predictable and stable. The last few years have been probably the most challenging years we've seen with fires, floods, more floods in the last year than we've had in 16 years and it's been a totally different environment. The combination of both fires and floods has significantly affected the water quality. For example, when I first started farming 16 years ago, after a flood the water would clear within a few weeks. Now with the catchment burnout, when we have floods the water will stay dirty for six to eight weeks. What is clear is that in this southern part of the state, we are getting less than average rainfall, but when we get it, we get it in bigger falls. And we normally would be closed for a week or two with a, a good downpour. Now that's stretched out, and the last one, last lot of rain, I think we were closed for three or four weeks more. And certainly this year has been very problematic in terms of being open for harvest. So that's been very difficult for the business. The reduced water quality impacts our operations in several ways. One is that we have a poorer growth and higher mortalities during the floods. One of the impacts of more floods and fires over the years is getting a lot more debris like this accumulating on the leases. A classic example of flood damage, so broken lines and lines that have pulled off their moorings. The, the impact is lost product and yeah, a lot of time and effort to put it back together. What's interesting about oysters, they've got quite a long life cycle, so two to three years. So even over my 16 years of farming, that's only been about eight generations of oysters. The, the impact of, of increasing rainfall and flood events, it means that we basically, by the time the oysters have grown up and we've sold them, we've had to change our farming practice again. In response to like a changing climate and, and having more extreme weather events, we've had to adapt. We've had to adopt new technology, new cultivation methods, create new markets for ourselves to sell oysters, you know, when we can. And it's made us better farmers. The innovations we've made on the farm include mechanising, you know, harvesting. We've invested in, in infrastructure both on and off the water, including flip farm, which is labour saving and really productive cultivation method, high speed grading machines, and wet storage. This is a good example, we've got the new infrastructure flip farm baskets at the front line and the older baskets at the back. The benefits of the flip farm baskets, not only is it a lot more productive and, and less labour intensive, but it's also more robust. We're talking 25 mil backbones, this stuff's designed for oceanic conditions, which is great when we're getting hit by floods, whereas the, the systems at the back are not designed for that kind of weather. Both flip farm and high speed grading has allowed us to be more responsive when we have shorter harvest windows. So we can get on the water, harvest more and sell more in shorter periods of time. One of the impacts of floods is that we can't harvest oysters for extended periods of time. Investing in wet storage means we can harvest more product before the river closes. This is one of four wet storage tanks that we use to hold stock during flood events. It's an investment we've made to ensure we have good cash flow and we can service our customers when we're experiencing yeah, floods and, and other events that affect our harvest. We traditionally catch our wild oysters once a year. These nursery systems that we've now installed enable us to have a more consistent supply of baby oysters and also it helps us to improve our genetics. So we're trialling you know, disease resistance and fast growing genetic lines along with our wild caught oysters. As well as infrastructure, we've volunteered to work with DPI to be involved in the sensor project. And the reason we're interested in sensors is because unlike land farms, we can't walk the paddock. So we're really looking to technology like the sensors to give us a better understanding of what's happening in the environment. And it's been very valuable to have a more almost real time understanding of what the animals are experiencing in the water. And we can make better decisions and, and de-risk it into the future. So an investment in technology, like working with DPI on the Smart Sensor program or subscribing to a farm operations application, means that we're much more responsive 
in regards to changing climate. We can get out in the water, harvest two hundred thousand dollars worth of crop, you know, right before a flood hits. And previously hadn't been able to do that. The biggest benefits we've got from adopting new technologies and innovations is the resilience that comes from making the work more interesting, more productive and, and people having a better time. It's been expensive, but it's also been quite rewarding in the fact that we're better farmers for it. And generally, I think we're actually a more productive and sustainable business uh, in the long run. Our team is more engaged with what we do. They don't work long hours, they feel very productive, and they get to work with the, the best, most modern technology around. And I think because labour is our biggest cost, if we keep our people happy, that's where our resilience comes from, a happy team. People really engage what we do and people enjoy their job. It's always been our philosophy that people are more engaged and creative and interested in the business if they are stakeholders. They've got skin in the game. Well, that's been a terrific business model for us. We always want to be innovative, change and be agile in that change. Where we are now, we're, the business is in a good place. We feel confident, we feel in control, you know, and ready to adapt to any of the challenges ahead of us. We know the climate's changing, but also know that we have the technology, the resources, and the demand for our product to actually grow our industry. So I'm, I'm quite positive about the future. I believe shellfish like oysters are a really sustainable, regenerative crop. They're actually not just providing great food, but they actually help us mitigate, fight climate change in the long run.